Hey guys, Jeff here. I just want to do a little video because I just saw this posted on Apple's website uh, about the, the 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 press release they just announced or their little uh, their news announcement about the iPhone 4 reception issues. Because as as you saw in a previous video that I did, the 3G and the 3GS were experiencing uh, very similar, maybe not as bad, but very similar issues as the 4 in terms of reception when you grip it firmly the bars would drop. Now, one of the things I noticed was that, uh, and I wrote this in my review on, on the iPhone 4 review, it's on my website, I still want to do a video review, so that's going to be in the coming work, because I want to get a fully detailed, good review of the iPhone 4, so that'll be coming, but I don't know when yet, but hopefully soon. So aside from that, as I noticed, uh, when I went to the Apple Store with my 3GS, before I picked up the iPhone 4, I tried to do the same thing with the bars, gripping it firmly, and they didn't go anywhere. So then I tried it again when I got the iPhone 4, right before I left the store. Nothing, no issues at all, no death grip as they call it, bars remained full. So I figured, eh, service is probably really good around the Apple Store, I'm sure they set that up perfectly. So I went back to my apartment and I tried it. Then I started noticing the decrease. And then I said, all right, so something's going on here. Uh, it seems like in places where AT&T signal is actually really good, uh, that the bars seem to be indicating that they are, in fact, fine. Now, I went, I, I went at my apartment, the, uh, the bar, the, sig the service here is not that great, but it's not bad. So I figured, okay, so I never I really had full bars in the apartment. Occasionally I do, but not often. So then I went to my house. Uh, where the service of at and service is really, really good. And I tried it there with the iPhone 4. No loss in signal, lo no loss in bars, no, no loss in anything. Perfect signal, even with the death grip going on. So I came to the conclusion that it's at and not Apple per se. Uh, that it's just something's going on software-wise. And excuse the noise outside, it seems like they're doing some gardening out there. Uh, but it's at and service that just, you know, at and service, which is bad, and not so much Apple. Now, I don't want to seem like an Apple fanboy because I like to, I like to use both platforms, and I, but I do like Apple products, so I'm not trying to be Apple's savior here. All I'm saying is that they're announcing now in this news release, this news uh, announcement, that the that iPhone 4, that the iOS, which also, which also runs on previous iPhones, such as the 3G and the 3GS, is is flawed in the way that the algorithm that they use to tell how many bars are 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 available to you, how much signal you have going to your phone is flawed. That they're, it's totally wrong, and that's a direct quote is what they said. Um, that it's totally wrong, and that they're that they should have a fix out in a couple weeks. Now what they're saying is that the they're overstating how many bars you actually have by two bars, two, two full bars. So in areas where it says you have four bars, you actually in reality only have two bars. Um, which I guess makes sense to me. Because while I know a lot of people are gonna jump on the bad wagon and say it's the antenna, how could it be a software issue, it's the antenna, there's no way it's a software issue, just impossible, yada, yada, yada. Uh, I think that this, there may be truth to this. If it's not completely true, there is definitely truth to this statement. Now, whether or not it's 100% true, I don't know. I, I don't have the ability to fully test something like that, but in my experience, it seems that that is actually the case, that the iPhone software, the iOS 4, is overstating how many bars are actually available to you. That, that seems like it could be plausible. It, in, in, in my experience, it seems to be that's the way it's working out. Uh, because as I mentioned, two places that I went, one, the Apple Store, where you would expect excellent service, and two, my house, also a place that, you know, up in the air, there's, you know, there's nothing special about my house that says at and service has to be good there, it just happens to be, and no issues there. So, and then at my apartment, you know, where the at and service isn't that great, uh, you know, there's issues. So I, I do buy Apple when they I do buy into Apple saying this that this could be a, that this could be the fix uh, and that we'll see what happens. But let me know what you think. Is this hardware or software? Again, what I what I'm seeing in my experience, it seems to be software related. I 
And another reason that I point this out is because even on some, people are mentioning that even the bumper or some cases aren't fully fixing the problem. And if it were an antenna issue, uh, and, and these were and these were the supposed fixers that Apple had the bumper to fix the issue, you know, that's the conspiracy going around, then you would think it would fix it. But in many cases, I'm hearing people report that it's not fixing the issue. And then again, 1.7 million people bought this phone already. And, we're, and you only hear about the people online who have the issue. You don't hear about the people who don't have the issue. Um, and then again, that's all the media is reporting about all the people who don't have the issue as opposed to the people who... Uh, who, who all the people who do have the issue as opposed to the people who don't have the issue who don't, who don't care they just don't speak up about it they say oh it's working fine for me uh, you know or they're you know they're just not as tech savvy and they don't know any better so we'll see what happens when they release the fix uh, want to know your thoughts uh, and again thanks for watching we'll see you next time and remember remember take care of your computers